Good morning and welcome to day 23 of prayer. We've made it to December 23rd. Hallelujah, Jesus. And today we're going to pray for marriages. Marriages. That's what we're praying for. We are blessed, my husband and I. We've been married for 23 years, and it was prayer. This right here, what we're doing today, it was prayer that brought us through. Hallelujah. Through every trial and tribulation, through the difficult times, it was the prayer of the righteous. My word says the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. And we had people praying, interceding on our behalf for us and our marriage. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna intercede for all marriages. We're gonna be that intercessor and pray for all marriages. It was so many people praying for us, y'all. I couldn't name them all. Too many to name. But there's two, hallelujah God. There's that two again. Where two or three are gathered together in his name, he will be in the midst. Matthew 18 and 19, where any two touch and agree on anything. Hallelujah. It was two. I'm not gonna get excited. At least two. Righteous saints praying for us. I'm gonna call those two names. Pastor Pennington and Mother Dixon. Now, it was many others. So if you prayed for us, don't get upset because I didn't call your name. It's too many to call. But those two, they prayed for us because they knew prayer. Prayer changes things. Prayer can unhearten. God does it through prayer. Unhearten any man's heart. Jesus. Prayer can change any situation. No matter how bad it looks. No matter how groomed it looks. At the deepest and darkest hour of the night. The word says, weeping may endure for a night. Hallelujah. But joy, joy comes in the morning. So we're going to pray. Y'all keep praying. Keep praying. We're praying. And our scripture is coming from Genesis chapter 2. I don't want to get excited. Genesis chapter 2. Verses 18 through 24. And it reads, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle, to all the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a help meet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from Adam made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall any man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. We're one, one flesh. Let us pray. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, the creator. We see in the beginning, you created us, God. You created every bird, every, every fowl of the air, God. 
every living thing on this earth, God. You created it, Jesus. So we thank you, Father God. You formed us. Hallelujah, God. You formed us, God. And you joined us together. So I thank you, God, on this morning, God. Because your word says what you have joined together. Let no man or demon in hell put asunder or separate, God. We are one flesh, God. We are one in you, God. We fight on one accord, God. Your word says a twofold cord is not easily broken. Hallelujah, Jesus. So on this morning, we fight as one, God. We pray as one, God. We walk as one, Jesus. We live as one, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. For your love, God, Jesus. It was love. Your love, God. While we were yet in sin, Christ died for us, for this union, for man and for woman. We thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to love, Father God, as you love, God, in our marriages, God. Love as Christ loved the church. That's our foundation, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, your word says love covers a multitude of sin. That's how you were willing to die for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for us. That's the example, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we have to live by in our marriages, God. We put love over everything else, God. We put love over our faults and our failures, God, and our flaws. We place love, God, you as the center, God. Help us to see our future, God. Not our faults. Not our flaws. Not our failures, God. Help us to see our future together. In this union, God. In this holy matrimony, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is holy. Marriages is holy. Marriages are sacred. In the eyes of the Lord, God. Help us never to forget, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. To love like Christ so loved the church, God. It's about love, Jesus. If we keep love in the center of our marriages, God. There is nothing that can come between us, Jesus. Nothing, God. The word says, if God be for us. Then who can be against us? If you're the sinner in our marriages, God, who can stand against us? Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, God. Hey, hey, thank you, Jesus. Help us to remember, God, how it was when we first met Jesus. Renew our minds. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bring back to our remembrance, God, how it was when we first met God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. We transform our minds and our hearts, God. Your word says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, God. We speak blessings over our marriages, God. We speak love into our marriages, God. We speak truth into our marriages, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, that's what we think on, God. Think on those things that are true, that are just, that are pure, that are lovely, and of a good report, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Help us to be rather giving to one another and not always taking, God. Your word said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Yes, I know you're talking about money, but I'm talking about the principle of giving of ourselves to one another. Hallelujah, God. Help us, Jesus, to give of ourselves when we don't feel like it, God. We want to give more, God. That's what marriage is about, God. Giving. Help him to give and her to give and him to give and her to give. 
we can't go wrong when we're both giving. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you right now, God. Hallelujah, God, I thank you for every marriage, God. Yes, God, we bind, Father God, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We bind all arguing, fighting, division, discord, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we render these things helpless, hopeless, inoperative, and ineffective in our marriages, God. That's the trick of the enemy fussing and fighting and discord and division. That's what he comes to do. We see you, Satan. You come to steal, kill, and destroy. But God, God said he came that we may have life and life more abundantly. So that's what we're praying, life in every marriage, joy in every marriage, happiness in every marriage, peace in every marriage. Abundance of peace, abundance of happiness, abundance of joy, abundance of love in the mighty name of Jesus, God. That's your will for our marriages, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We pull down every stronghold of Satan. Right now, Satan, we pull down every stronghold and we speak to every mountain in our marriages. And we command it right now, if it's a mountain of defeat, we speak to that mountain of divorce and infidelity. And we command it to be removed, uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God, you said we can speak to our mountains and command them to be removed. Every mountain, God, in our lives, God, we speak to it, God. We say peace and be still. The same way you come to see God. That same authority we have in the mighty name of Jesus, God. So we speak to it and we say, peace, be still in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. You have to take your hold off of every marriage. You have to loose your hold off of every marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. We thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that your word will not go out and return void, but it shall accomplish everything you sent it to perform. Hallelujah, God. We give you glory right now, God. We give you honor right now, God. And we give you all the praise, God. For every marriage, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.